Hi guys, I just wanted to go through something and something that my previous um videos would have covered some of this, right? It's trying to put it all together, right? I think the manosphere is serving a purpose and I'm very happy that we have it because before the manosphere was there, it was a disorganized set of people. But people need to understand that the manosphere is a surrogate father for a lot of guys who are fatherless. You know, I don't mean to brag, but I, my father has been in my life and, you know, his father was in his life. And as a father, I'm in my son's life. And because of that, I have been taught a lot of things to try to get me to be a man. But what I'm seeing is something in the manosphere, which is broken. And here's what's broken. A lot of the young men who are entering the manosphere, I'm not talking to content creators, I'm talking to actual people who consume what the manosphere produces. They're actually young men coming into the world and on the mainstream manosphere, they're dissatisfied with their dating choices. A lot of them want to be like this, this guy here, Dan, um, Bazarian. They want to have that fantastic life where they're in an alpha, similar to what happened in the jungle. You know, they would be, or it happened in the African savanna. It also happened, you know, in the north, the northern European plains, where the where the wolves, you know, or the lions, they in in the savanna would have a harem, you know, or the lion will have his pride and several lions surrounded him and all of that stuff. And it sounds attractive, but it's not practical. That would cause the destruction of society. And something that a lot of people need to understand that that's really succumbing to short-term pleasure over legacy. I've seen here that what's been packaged to the young men is if you do this, you know, if you follow these red pill or alpha coaches, then you will, you know, possibly have all this harem of women that you can sleep with until, you know, the time comes that you become, um, you know, you're ready to settle down and start to think of legacy. So that's the mainstream. On the black manosphere side, there's something else being sold. And I think what's being sold there is a bit sinister. It is actually focused more on the red pill of trying to red pill women to tell them to put them in their place. And I'm seeing the red pill and the dating coaches try to say to women, you're average at best and, you know, you hit the wall all of this stuff and while a lot of it is true at a certain age why is that the focus of the manosphere why is that the focus of the black manosphere we have a lot more problems to deal with so why would we focus on this this has been too much of a go-to item you know we see with these alpha teachers these red pill guys these pickup artists the common theme is how men can become jerks and how women the lower the the lower their value is in the dating market this is not helpful and you know black women have always remembered that you know the rappers back in the 80s and the 90s you know the whole bitches and hoe they had destroyed they, they tried to destroy their image and and this was done for dollars and then after that the black comedians came in and they spoke of weave and all of these things and so you know this is like a constant move to destroy the image of black women which which i don't know who it serves i don't know who it serves because when a set of men decide to destroy their own men's their own women's image that's there's something wrong with that also what is very noticeable is is that the type of women that the manosphere inadvertently promotes are the exact women that they said that men should not go after so you go on many of look at many of these shows who is on there OnlyFans models, um, you know, strippers, all of those people. And what are these guys doing while they're holding out for the best woman ever? They're the biggest consumer of porn pornography and also, um, you know, strip clubs and, and all of this stuff. So what's happening here? This is the fallacy of the manosphere. Manosphere is missing the point. The black manosphere's focus should be the young black man. The young black man has serious issues because the focus is wrong. The focus should be on legacy and building that legacy. We have to be cognizant of the fact that 
within our communities, a lot of our communities, black dominated communities, there is chaos going on. And the chaos is there primarily because of the breakdown of the family. And so if we ignore that and we focus on women as, you know, weave and all this other stuff and their promiscuity or the fact that they won't submit, think about it, guys. Black men and black women almost earn the same <laughs> income. Why would anyone submit to the other? And so this is the fallacy of the of the manosphere. And some people are figuring it out. But let's step into this. So we need to ask ourselves this question. We have sat and seen the destruction of the black community. And we have seen it that, listen, it's all because of this fatherless situation, right? And I mean, whether the father is not there because he was killed in gang violence or, you know, he has chosen not to, to do his duty. You know, what is happening is we have set up a matriarchy. And, you know, it's the problem is that what we don't understand is that black women have dealt with black men in the capacity of simply dealing with a teenage boy because even when he's older and he's on the streets doing nonsense he is a behaving like a, an immature person so we have these gangbangers like when is the manosphere going to focus on the fact that these young men are destroying their lives and the community and they are perpetuating the pain that is happening the next one next set of people are these baby fathers like you can't go around sleeping from person to person. Now, I've seen in the manosphere that, you know, this is something that uh, they're very loud and clear on that. Listen, you can't just go around having children all over the place. And something that, um, you know, I think that that's a clear message. And I, I will be very honest with you that that's a very clear message. Dr you know, drug users, um, I don't think there's many. I think everyone figures out that y if you tr start to become a drug user, and become addicted you're just going to destroy your life but then you know the activists the b1 guys now i i don't know i think they're losing their message because a lot of people are figuring out that the the biggest enemy is not the white men or mainstream the biggest the biggest enemy is our culture the subculture that needs to be improved the next thing um you know is something that i hope is taken up is how you conduct yourself at work very important because if you're going to be a provider you have to know how to conduct yourself at work you have to that's where you go and you submit and you partner and you teamwork and all of that and a lot of problems is that these young men are not suited for work a lot of times because guess what they never worked in structure they never grew up in structure and because of that they're going to be difficult employees and this is the type of stuff the focus that the manosphere needs to have we need to get off this weave argument and focus on this because if we don't help these young black men to improve themselves and to become better what we're doing is setting them up to be another lost generation and guess what without this building of the family you don't have a good neighborhood without a good neighborhood you don't have a good community and it, it just goes on and on so the focus should be on the young men let's bring back the manosphere focus to the men and take away this whole dating stuff there's a population imbalance listen this is the greatest time to date for young men there are more women than men so what's the problem the problem is is that the focus is getting that extremely beautiful woman the focus is not on building legacy and family and when you take the focus off building legacy and family then you see why our income disparity it will be cemented and that's the big focus you cannot continue to play make a fool of ourselves by supporting stupidity like why are you arguing with women why is the manosphere arguing with women that just does not make any sense. The focus should be on linking ourselves backwards into trade schools, helping young men understand that, listen, you know, the boss, he may, he may raise his voice. You don't raise your boy's voice back at him. You need to feed your family. That's the type of thing that I want to hear and want to see start coming out of the manosphere. That's when it becomes more helpful. There's a lot of work that needs to be done and there's no way of getting away from it. And this work will not happen with a group of people. This work will happen individually. Young men need to go back and figure out that, listen, I need my five-year plan to improve myself. And they need to understand how they function in the greater society. There has to be order. If you don't have order in the society, what happens is that it breaks down. And if you're trying to escape the hood, don't go somewhere and create another hood. And understand your function as a man. You are a provider. That's what, listen, 
That's what everyone is expecting the man to do. Be a provider. You can be a co-pilot. I mean, nowadays, I, I don't expect a man to be a sole provider. I'm talking about you have to carry your weight and you have to work hard. Like right now, we're, we're at that stage where I think young men have missed that point. Stop looking and thinking about weaves and, and bad attitudes of women. That's, that's not your business. Your business is to improve yourself. And then protect. When I talk about protect, I'm not talking about, um, you know, walking the streets protecting anyone. I mean, we have laws and we have, we have a, a community that has order. What's, what's your role in protecting is staying with your family, taking care of your responsibility. That's how you protect. You stay with your family and, you know, sometimes you may have arguments and that with, with your significant partner, but you marry that partner and you work things out. You become someone that is bigger, and that you have a bigger view. The next thing that you have to do is build. And in building, you're building your career. You know, listen, spend your time doing something useful. Don't waste your time on nonsense. And that's why it's important for you to invest in yourself. And invest in yourself is learning a trade, you know, trying to improve yourself. Focus on that. That's what the women have been waiting for men to do. And don't do it for them. Do it for yourself. Be a man. You know, there's so many professions and skills that young men need to get into. I mean, why are we wasting our time doing nonsense? Like, why are we wasting our time? Look how many young men have figured out they're not going to college. They're going to trade schools and they're learning to do something. They're earning over 100000 a year. That's when you are a man. And that's when you now can require your wife to, and then let's get ready to submit, to partner with you and to accept you as a leader. But you have to prove yourself first. Leaders are not born. You don't just come in and because you, you have a different set of genitalia, you're suddenly a leader. That's idiotic. And we need to get rid of that. For you to lead and to be a proper leader, you have to put in the work for yourself. No one is going to do it for you. That's the hard lessons that I learned as a child with my father. And that's the lesson that I guess a lot of people did not get because a lot of guys did not grow up with their father. So that's what I'm hoping the Manosphere will figure out that, listen, it is not the Manosphere's role to tell women about weave and bad attitude and, you know, if they're average at best and all that. That's not our function. Our function is to look at our men because what we have done is, if you look back at the incomes, we're earning 42000 a year versus women 41000 No woman is going to submit to you because she earns just as much as you. You are not, like, listen, you are just uh, at best a partner. And so, you know, that's the focus that people should be on, improving themselves financially, getting yourself in the right way and figuring out how to be a good husband, how to be a good father. That's the next step. If we don't focus on that, we will lose the momentum. Now, I love having the manosphere because having the manosphere means that there is a group thought and we need to uh, we need to get rid of this gang gang subculture and all of that stuff that needs to be combated and i think that the manosphere is quiet on that and something that it needs to be more vocal on because listen young men who are gang banging and doing all of that stuff they're destroying the community and themselves so as i said the big focus is how the manosphere can refocus itself and look at what it really needs to be to look at it needs to help be and it's sad to say a surrogate father for the fatherless thank you guys